Tell me, Deepika, did you read uh, this person? Yes, sir. Okay. Tell me, what did you make out? Uh, Identify some words that you can you can state. Social that action. You, that you understood. Hmm. Social action. Goal. Social action. Okay. Goal. Social action. Okay. Next. Pattern variables. Uh, okay. Maybe. Okay. Uh, okay. First, social action. That's a good thing to begin with. Okay. Please switch on the videos. Social action. Okay. Uh, tell me, what is that social action about? So, social action is uh, so uh, so he tries to say that the society depends on uh, so uh, depends on social action and depends on how the individual acts socially. Wow, very good. That's very interesting, Deepika. You are saying. I mean, why I like that word is that. Individual acting socially. Yes. Okay. So crowd behavior is not social action. So he he looks at the motivation for the individual action. Individual action. So social action is an individual thing, unlike social fact, which is a collective thing. That is the difference between social action and social fact. Social fact that is of Durkheim is a collective fact, is about collective entity. Whereas social action is an individual thing. Okay, so that is how social action is different from social fact. Okay, that's that is one. So social there, social refers to not the group but an individual. With others, tell me, is eating a social action? Um, Individual eating. He doesn't have options for eating. He has to eat. Wow, anything. that is good. Social action is also about choice. There is no alternative to eating. So sleeping, eating, uh, sneezing, these are not social actions. Okay. But you taking sociology as an optional. It is a social, social action. action. Coming to the class. Social, social action. Okay. So social action is about an individual and voluntary and with choice. With choice. That's what social action is. Okay. Individual with choice and voluntary. Okay. Social action is that. Okay. Uh, and then he links social action uh, finally to uh, social. Uh, system social action to the structure of social action and then finally he links it to um, social system so can you tell me what is a social system he looks at the social system uh... Separately from the political and economic system. Okay. No. So, uh, social system is separate. Uh, I mean, what is... Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay, let us explore next word. This is one word. Next word is social system. Social system. Social system. Okay. Tell me, what what is a social system? How do you define a social system? Vishal, did you read this? Hmm. Partly. 
Okay, tell me what is social system? As far as I understood, hmm? as far as I understood, I hmm. can tell you that uh, interactions in a group or say a constellation or a uh, number of social interactions occurring in a society is social. Okay. System. Interactions. Okay. Tell me, according to Parsons, can family be considered a social system? Uh, yes, I guess I, I partly agree. Oh. Anything can be a uh, family involves certain interactions, a pattern of interactions. Isn't it so? Deepika, why did you say political system is not a social system? Can't we consider a political system as a social system? Mm. So he is basically looking at the individual level as to what motivates the individual goals and no, no, no. that is about social action. But what is a social system? Mm. Social system is uh, how an individual, like he said, how an individual interacts with the society. So it involves all aspects. Um, that is true. But social system is about all those pattern of interactions across people. It is not about individual. Okay. Each one is doing a social action, but a group of people behave in a particular way. Then that is social system. Social system is a collective thing. Social action is an individual thing. Social action is individual, social system is collective. Vishal, now tell me, is family a social system? Yes. Okay. Uh, is an IAS coaching center social system? Uh, yes, because there is interaction. Political system? Political system. Okay. A particular uh, state, Telangana state, Yes, anything is a social system. According to Parsons, anything can be can be considered as a social system. Family can be considered, religion can be considered, economy can be considered, okay, university can be considered. So family, economy, religion, caste, village. So anything, anything. With a pattern of interactions, with a pattern of interactions, any. Okay. So what is the link between social action and the social system? It is a structured, institutionalized social action. It is a social institution. Social system consists of institutions, whatever. Social system, okay, social action, maybe second, this is third. Um, you can think in terms of social institution. Social institution. Family is a social institution. University is a social institution. Political system, political party, social institution. This is one way of looking at it. But the social system is, the social system is what you consider is what, what the, for your study is a social system. Social system is an approach. Parsons is following a systems approach. Social system is what you want to study. Okay. If you want to study institution of family, then the family is a social system. If you want to study working of political party, then the political party, you can say it is a social institution, but also a social system. So social system is about what you want to study. Social institution is about pattern of interactions. So structured pattern of interactions is social institution. And social action is goal oriented or individual action. Okay. 
So voluntaristic action that involves basic elements. Actions are individual, seeking goals. Actors are in a position of alternative means, confronted with. That is it. Social system, and anything can be considered as a social system. Whatever one wants to study can be considered as a social system. And society consists of social systems. A society consists of social systems. So Telangana can be a social system. Family can be a social system. Political party can be a social system. India can be a social system. Education system can be a social system. Political system can be a social system. Okay. Social action is individual. Social system is collective. Social institution also is 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 correct. Okay. So Parsons wants to study. Anything or everything of society through systems approach, through systems approach. He thought of society in terms of social systems. Social system is what you want to study. Okay, within that there are patterns of interactions. Okay, so that is about social action and social system and an institution. Okay. Mm. Tell me uh, next. Sir, what does institutionalization? Please ask me, Vishal. Mm. What does institution and institutionalization mean? Okay, thank you. Institutionalization means. Um, tell me, we say family is an institution. Family is an institution means um, there is somebody like husband, wife, and children. That makes it a family. Which means we have certain statuses. Husband is a status. Wife is a status. Son and daughter are status. And each status is associated with role. so creation of statuses and roles with expected behavior is what is called institutionalization you can say social institution is created or institutionalization took place for example we discussed uh, this one livin is not really institutionalized because we don't know uh, what precisely are the roles we don't even have proper names for those who are in living which means institutionalization hasn't taken place institutionalization means first people do things spontaneously and then uh, when they are doing spontaneously thinkingly receive, trying to achieve certain goals that is a social action stage but when people do social action like that and when when in something like an expected behavior comes to be associated with it then you can say institutionalization has taken place when man and woman are relating in a in a spontaneous way in an unstructured way that is not institutionalization but then when you have an evolution of husband and wife and how a woman should behave towards man man should behave towards woman then you can say institutionalization took place okay so institutionalization means frozen expected statuses and roles that is institutionalization is it clear okay now next word okay deepika take next concept Mm. moving equilibrium moving equilibrium okay moving equilibrium refers to okay let us look at moving equilibrium hmm. so that comes under what is called social change social change parson's theory of social change social change Okay. 
Okay, now tell me what did you understand from concept of social change and moving equilibrium? So, social. Can you give me one some examples of social change? Mm, uh, nuclear families. Nuclear family is a social change. You mean joint to nuclear is a social change? Mm. But which is more important, joint to nuclear, or can you take up some more important uh, social change that is going on? Modernization and huh? No, within within the gender. Or hmm? empowerment. Isn't it? So, woman empowerment is one very important aspect of social change. Okay. And you can say this is a part of family. Okay. If you take uh, family as a social system, you can take family as a social system. So, tell me, is the social system changing or not? Anyway, you can tell me what is this concept of moving equilibrium? Okay, that is right, moving equilibrium. Moving equilibrium. So, what does moving equilibrium mean? With, uh, with many changes in the society, uh, hmm. the roles of individuals, say we consider a family, hmm. the roles of individuals are also changing. Roles of? Individuals in the family are also changing. Okay, so that, is, that is what social change is. So, moving equilibrium. So, uh, the equilibrium point also keeps changing due to uh, the other factors. Like? Um, say, uh, say, in a nuclear family. Uh, so, in if you take joint family and nuclear family, the roles yeah. are in terms of joint family nuclear family why didn't you take women's empowerment yeah, so the roles of uh, women are the role of women are changing why are, why are they changing uh, due to external factors such as uh, employment education okay. uh, so, so can we say can we say education is changing and so family is changing can we say that yes can you tell me how this is an example of moving equilibrium or how is this related to moving equilibrium? If we uh, look at it in terms of the roles that the woman is doing before the change and after the change. Mm -hmm. um, so in the equilibrium point, the roles are defined and they are fixed. But no, now... I think you understood equilibrium point. Okay, Vishal. Can you tell me what is this equilibrium business? Um, equilibrium generally means anything which is in a stable state. Wow. Please, Deepika, look at that. He's trying so, to look what is equilibrium in the first place. Okay. Equilibrium is something which is at a stable state. Okay. So, oh. if we relate to parts of this theory, the oh. system is always in a stable state. Okay. Oh. That is in equilibrium. Okay. So this is a box. In box, balls, small balls, big balls are like this. And they are like this without any movement. What is this about then? Will you call it equilibrium? Yes, sir. This is called equilibrium because this they... is called equilibrium. Deepika, are you following? Balls in a box. It is an equilibrium. Okay. Now, suppose you drop, you take this out. What happens? There is a disturbance created. Disturbance created. And then what happens? For a, min for a minimal what time. Others. They uh, adjust themselves to maintain another. Exactly. Equilibrium. Can you tell me what is meant by theory of social change here? Anything which has like woman empowerment is a social change. For okay. that, it can disturb the equilibrium. Okay. But, but uh, again, you can think in terms of that's fine. Okay, fine. So if woman empowered in a family, then what happens to the political system? Will it change or will it not change? It will change. That's what it is. So if this system changes, something else changes. 
ఎడ్యుకేషన్ చేంజెస్ ఫ్యామిలీ చేంజెస్ ఫ్యామిలీ చేంజెస్ పొలిటికల్ సిస్టమ్ చేంజెస్ ఆర్ ఎకానమీ చేంజెస్ ఫ్యామిలీ సిస్టమ్ చేంజెస్ so equilibrium is across the systems and if one system is changed other system will change okay and parsons may consider this entire thing as a social system also or any part of it as a social system deepika is it clear yes sir so society consists of social systems and one system change it disturbs the equilibrium and other systems change that is what moving equilibrium moving equilibrium means one changes disturbed settles and then something else changes disturbed and then something else changes this how equilibrium is moving tell me does it incorporate materialism what does materialism suggest if technology changes will religion change in this model yes or no it will change in the ways it is propagated and followed that's true so the question is if if technology changes will religion change yes sir if economy changes yes sir okay if religion is changed will economy change in this model in this model it does in this model it does which means can we say parsons try to include both idealism and materialism yes sir that is it Marx took the stand of materialism, Weber took the stand of idealism, but Parsons is not committed to anything. Technology can change religion, economy can change religion, religion can change technology. Family can change religion, all. Sir, Parsons is looking first at the individual level when he is talking about uh, social... Social action. And this is about system level, social systems level. So, he is talking about two things. Mm. Is he connecting the two things somewhere or it's just... We will... Uh, individual is connected to social system. And then the social systems are connected like this in a society. so the way parsons linked is that social action institutionalized social action become social system and social systems are connected like this in a society so from social action to social system and social systems are connected like this so finally he looked at the society in terms of social systems and he linked social action to the social system he thought everything should be explained from social action he realized that is not possible so from social action to social system he came and then social systems are connected social change is nothing but moving equilibrium but here as he said that's very well said equilibrium is a steady state if something else changed if something is changed something else is changed okay so what are the words we reviewed social action social system social institution moving equilibrium social change mm. these are the terms that's good okay next hmm. introduce any new word now pattern variables exactly okay next pattern variables pattern variables okay can you tell me what is the link between pattern variables first of all what are these variables about he is trying to generalize some variables across social behavior no oh, more accurately across what 
he is giving variables right but variables of what values no more specifically what a... exactly these are the variables to place systems a system can be described in terms of these pattern variables for example on a graph of xy what is the what is it that graph is trying to describe it change in one variable the other also affects that is true but what finally does it describe relation between both no it relation is a graph but uh, i'm sorry okay i'm talking about just axis axis so what is it trying to describe what is it that is trying to posit position what is it that is that is being defined in the graph two different parameters of what so in a graph it is a spatial can we say two different variables of a point x y yes in that sense how many points are there in a graph of x y there can be infinite based on okay so infinite points infinite points are located in terms of x y so what is the equivalent of point here variables no what is the equivalent of point what is the equivalent of x y and point what is the equivalent of x y and point pattern hmm? pattern 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 variables are x y variables and point is social system the point is social system point is social system so instead of two in here in parson's theory how many are there how many pattern variables five so any social system can be described in terms of these five pattern variables so how many social systems are possible in a society how many social systems are possible visha 25 you know find it okay so like like infinite points are there on xy graph infinite social systems exist in a society along these five pattern variables okay along these five pattern variables infinite number of social systems exist so pattern variables are ways to describe a social system pattern variables are ways to describe a social system and society consists of social systems and moving equilibrium means one social system change affecting others social systems changes okay so now coming close to the pattern variables he is saying some social systems have certain features i said these all these variables are like home office variables okay so let us list those pattern variables can you just give me one or two pattern variables deepika effectivity and effective neutrality, neutrality. 
So what does it mean, effectivity and effective neutrality? Effectivity means feelings. Effective neutrality, no feelings. So between family and uh, office, which is supposed to have more effectivity? No, the family has more effect. effective neutrality. It is in the job place. It is in the job place, like that. Okay. So, like that, he thought of systems in terms of pattern variables. So, five pattern variables. And then, there is one more thing about social change. Parsons thought social systems on the whole are changing in terms of certain values. For example, take pattern variable of effectivity and effective neutrality. Can you tell me how the world is moving in terms of that pattern variable? Is the world moving towards effectivity or effective neutrality? Sir, so towards uh, effectivity. No. Is, is the world changing towards feelings or feeling neutrality? Sir, uh, it depends on what context. Very so, good. if you look at the offices, these days they are trying to move towards effectivity by involving that, that people. Is, but they are trying to um, move towards feelings, but uh, why are they trying? Don't you think they have, uh, they have lost so many feelings? They have become so mechanical and that is why? Mm. So in in a in an office setting, they want to improve the productivity and coordination. They want to move towards effectivity because effective neutrality is so much, is too much. Yes, sir. Mm. That's true. But on the whole, in the world, I mean that is I'm not saying you should agree. I'm just asking you. On the whole, in the world, when we are relating to so many people, are we relating more with feelings or with feeling neutrality? Going to market, going to school, going to college, compared to village arrangement versus industrial society. Due to capitalism, it has become more about the economic benefits and it and so moving towards effective neutrality. Neutrality. Can you tell me? Do you see that there is Weber here? What did Weber think? Weber also thought in the same way, right? Yes. People will be more mechanical. Isn't it? Yes. So, this is another aspect of social change Parsons talked about. Sir, it's against uh, Marxist theory that he said he, they will move towards uh, communism. That's it. Ah, it doesn't talk about Marxism. Ah, that's true. Uh, he is not thinking that there will be communism. No. So, this is another aspect of social change that Parsons talked about. There is a change along the pattern variables. That is one. That is a specific change. And moving equilibrium, that is another social change. Okay. So, so you can go through those other pa uh, pattern variables. That are, but unfortunately, all those pattern variables are exactly similar. Okay. Diffusion, specificity. Particularism, universalism, ascription, achievement, collective orientation, self-orientation. Okay. Mm, now, next, take up one more concept. Vishal, you want to take up some concept? There is the concept of AGIL. AGIL. Okay. Now, AGIL. Yes, concept of AJL. What is this AJL? Okay, you tell me what this AJL about and then we will discuss. A stands for? Adaptation. Adaptation. G stands for? Goal attainment. I? 
इंटीग्रेशन इंटीग्रेशन एल लेटेंसी लेटेंसी सो व्हाट आर दीज एजीआईएल व्हाट आर दे व्हाट आर दे फर एंड व्हाट आर दे i don't know but as far as i can guess person it is about social system exactly How? they are the functions of social system for social system to survive agil need to be done for social system to survive agil need to be done for example a family system should have adaptation <coughs> goals integration conflict management and latency latency somehow refers to how it gets the members for example family system gets members through marriage university gets members to um, through people desiring to get educated so latency refers to some kind of recruitment i refers to integration conflict management g refers to attaining the goals a refers to adaptation so what he said was for a social system to survive all these functions need to be have to be done needed to be done so these are called functions of social system functions of social system but in this model parsons model Uh, a society consists of social systems, and for society to survive, on the whole, uh, AGIL should be done to society. So he thought of something like this. I don't think this is elegant, but that is what he thought. This is a society. Society consists of social systems. Social systems. so for a society to survive agil should be done but for this social system to survive agil for this social system agil like this for any social system to survive agil should be done to it for the entire society to be to survive agil should be done to this so in that sense agil is very important for any system which means you you take one family family system if family is not adopting then adaptation failure it will not satisfy goal failure conflict and it will not get members at all family won't survive so parsons thought uh family something any institution or a system won't survive if it is not up to the mark and if the environment is changing if the system has if the system has to successfully survive it has to adapt it has to do this so in that sense this is also a systems approach he is thinking of one <clears throat> and then how other things are influencing and how this is change it is like that and when this changes something else also changes so all of them are interrelated so how many social systems pattern variables how does a social system survive agil what is the link between one social system and another social system equilibrium it is like that university as a social system has to have adaptation goal attainment conflict management and students okay so but uh, in a more complicated way i won't say all these are necessary at all in a more complicated way he thought that for a social system to to be successful something should be something should do a something should do i g something he thought like this so some system should do a a to this but if some system should do a to this how should this system survive this system also should survive like this this thinking is not at all necessary how do we know that e is the system exclusively is for a so basically he thought like that in a 
So essentially, he thought society consists of social system, and social system, so stuff of society agile should be done, and or uh, uh, A is done to the society by a social system, and that social system to that social system agile must be done, like that. So I see all so many words and words and words. I don't see any insight in all this. He's trying to integrate all the previous thinkers: materialism integrated, idealism included, include integrated, rationalism integrated, and uh, how one system affects another, like functionalism integrated. So. all the things that he knew already or all the things that other thinkers have said already he is trying to include in his model okay so tell me is it clear vishal so that's about it is also hmm i keep open system open system means open to external influences closed system means uh, not open so similar to that. all social systems are open systems only there is no closed system in society similar to thermodynamics hmm <coughs> similar to thermodynamics similar to thermodynamics ha ah, yes same thing okay now take these questions how can a person say okay critically analyze parson's conception of pattern variables parson's conception of pattern variables so tell me what will you write one tip i can tell you give you is that in the questions on parsons write everything that you know because all are interlinked you write about social action and from social action to social system and social system has uh, features and they are pattern variables and what are those pattern variables that's all okay critically analyze see i said there are so many five variables but they are not really independent all of them are like home office some close to home some close to office so you can write that mm. that's all so explain what that social system is and these all systems approach so write everything that you know okay what do you write for this functional prerequisites of social system as given by talgot parsons what is your answer AGL. That's all. AGL. Functional prerequisite. So AGL. Exam in the con in the context of university as a social system. So in the university as a social system, what is a A for university? Adapting to say technology. Exactly. What is a G? Jobs. I conflict management. So it's easy. and then uh, how is social equilibrium maintained in parson's framework
So what will you write? How is social equilibrium maintained? Social equilibrium maintained. So you will just explain what is equilibrium, education and family or anything. Just draw diagrams. Mm. Uh, explain the relevance of Parsonian social system in the present society. Relevance of Parson, how, how useful is to think in terms of Parsons, that's all. Okay, try this. AGIL framework, how can Parsons AGIL framework be used to analyze key problems in a society? Relevance of AGIL. To understand key problems in the society. Hmm. Tell me what will you write? Relevance of AGIL to understand key problems in a society. So, what is a simple way? You take any social system and then say whether it is working or not. Police as a social system. How is it doing A, G, I, L? And if it is not doing, how is society getting affected? The point is, why do we need all these words to discuss these things? They're not really necessary, but that's what they gave as the syllabus. So take any social system, and then say how AJL done and not done. And that is supposed to uh, explain how the society is working. You can so, take economic system, economic system and AJL. Is economy adopting? Is economy uh, reaching its goals? Okay. Hmm. So in, in this example of police system, okay. hmm. what would be latest? Uh, if it is not doing well, if it is not keeping up the motivation of the members, it won't get the recruitment. That is latency. That is latency. Latency is about recruitment. Next, sociological perspective on universalism and particularism. Sir, in the latency thing, hmm. uh, one is the motivation, which is the moral motivation. Exactly. So can we include the economic aspects like salary and other ah, Yes, yes. Very good. Sure, sure. Salary, working conditions. Universalism and particularism. So question on specifically one, one pattern variable. Universalism and particularism. Tell me what is universalism and particularism? So is society moving towards universalism or particularism? Particularism. Huh? Particularism. Is society moving towards universalism or particularism? For example, in home office, which is universal, which is particular? Universal is for the office benefit of the entire That's world. Universal is for anybody. Particularism is for a specific person. My son is particular. Any merit is universal. So in which direction is the society moving? Universalism or particularism? So, if we take an office, mm. one would try to increase his own uh, uh, benefit. Merit, merit. Yes. So, in which direction is the society moving? Particularism. Uh, no, uh, particularism, universalism is about the criteria mm. that you are talking about uh, whether one person or that, that is a self orientation versus collective orientation. Universalism, particularism is about a criteria. Is there a universal criteria or a particular criteria? My son is a particular criteria. A good, a good officer, meritorious, is a universal criteria. So in office, which is used? Universal criteria or a particular criteria? Particular. For, uh, well, for the recruitment, uh, so the company tries to maximize it for the entire company. Universalism so or particularism? 
universalism. universalism so in which direction society is going universalism because of competition and other things it's going towards universalism universalism in fact in many cases you can say the world is moving towards office type office type sir can we also take climate action as a universalism climate action no this is about uh, the nature of recruitment it is about the nature of recruitment about the universalism is not about uh, the universe society is moving in a uh, general way climate is a general phenomenon for the, this world so ah that's fine society also is moving in one particular direction in universe i mean fine but here in that's fine you can but this is as, as far as i know it is about criteria it is about criteria criteria are they are particular criteria is used or general criteria is used so let us look at other pattern variables universalism and particularism and another thing is self orientation and collectivity orientation that we discussed so these pattern variables are specific to house and office and we cannot use them for larger aspects no i am just calling them home and office but weber thought this can be applied to anything any social system any social system not to the society but society also is is a social system you one can think of but for any social system maybe one can think in terms of society society also along with pattern variables in which direction is it moving so sir if we consider capitalism versus climate change what is meant by capital capitalism versus climate okay thank you take capitalism as a social system it is failing in adaptation you can say that take capitalism as a social system it is failing in adaptation it is failing in goal attainment it is not able to manage conflict latency it is like that but capitalism is an ideology economic system is a social system if we take uh, say um, say any company or a group of an industry trying to Fine. you can take any an industry as a social system yes trying to maximize its profit by say mining or such thing using okay. environmental uh, resources okay oh. but at the same time uh, if we look at it uh, universally it is not satisfying the universal benefit. that is true but he is looking at uh, uh, a social system whether it is a whether the social is social system is surviving through agil or not so is company surviving that is what he is looking at let us go through this pattern variables carefully then uh what are those five pattern variables effectivity effective neutrality we have discussed already we have discussed yeah. particularism universalism a criteria of a qualification ascription and achievement in which direction is the society moving achievement achievement collective orientation self orientation or self orientation diffuseness and specificity more specificity i think most of them are home office variables and you can assume that the society is moving more towards office effectivity effect neutrality diffusion specificity particularism universalism ascription achievement collective orientation and self orientation all home office variables only 
Sir, uh, can we generalize these things uh, if it's moving towards universalism or? Uh, yeah, moving towards universalism. Yes. So, if we take a mining company, it uh, um, it will look at its own profits. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the larger picture, say um, the climate change, then it is looking at its own. As in, it's not. No, satisfied. what I'm you are. I think maybe you are mixing up things. First of all, what is the social system in your uh, in your analysis? Mining company or the world? So uh, one aspect is the mining company. Not one aspect. What is the social system you are talking about? Um, one is climate, climate no. environment. How can climate be my uh, social system? You choose social system first. Mm. Environment can we say one is environment. No, you choose one one social system. Do you want to choose mining company as a social system? Mining company or the mining industry. Okay, mining industry as a social system. Yes. Okay, for mining industry to survive, what are its AGIL? Like that. What goals it should attain? In what way it should adapt? In what way it should may ma may manage conflict? How should it get its recruitment? Okay, adaptation. If it is not able to adapt to the uh, external environment, it can't survive. More pollution, more criticism. So it should reduce pollution. That is what is adaptation is. Is it extracting enough minerals? That is goal attainment is. Is it managing conflict within itself, different wings? That is uh, integration like that. Take one as a social system, and the way mining industry performs affects another social system. That is different. Pollution or air quality or environment. Okay. If the environment becomes worse off, there will be pressure on the mining industry. As mining industry does well without following the rules, then the pollution will get affected. So think in terms of across systems, and that is how change takes place. Okay, but anything that you choose to study is a social system. It is like that. Okay. So it is not that the social system is becoming universal. Social system, how we, what is the, what is the criteria that it is going by? Um, for example, a, a mining industry paying attention to climate, you can say it is about adaptation and goal adaptation issue. So what is, what is uh, outside the social system? That is, what is its environment? What is its outside? And how it is adapting to the outside? That is adaptation. But what it is supposed to do? That is goal attainment. One can think in terms of adaptation and goal attainment. That should be. So for example, if it cannot produce minerals without affecting the climate, and the climate is being taken very seriously, then G will suffer. And if it is if the if it is not enough of G, maybe it has to it has to close down. There is no future, for example, for coal. It is like that. There is a lot of future for um, solar. I think you can take examples like this. You can take live examples and explain. Okay. So we need to see where the equilibrium is moving. Equilibrium is moving, but that is what he thought. But one can say, where is the equilibrium? This is more of a destruction. We are going to collapse. That is not functionalism. So Parsons thinks things are smooth. Smooth. One thing successfully alters the other. But that need not be the case. For example, uh, education system need not smoothly reform family, because of which there is role strain, conflict. Conflict between man and woman, conflict of a uh, conflict within a woman, 
there is no smooth transition so one um, one social system is not smoothly transformed because of other social systems there will be confusion conflict so this confusion conflict are not considered in parson systems approach okay so universalism doesn't mean that mining company thinking of climate not like that so this is it so for any question on parsons please start from the beginning and write everything next there is one more theory of parsons social change okay uh, one more of parsons theory of social change uh, that is parsons thought in the society there is more of differentiation more differentiation and more integration more integration and on the whole things are improving this is another aspect of social change there is more differentiation at one time entire medicine is one but then more branches and now super specialization more differentiation more specialization and as there is more specialization there has to be more integration otherwise specialization is not possible and then parson thought on the whole there is an adapt to upgradation of a society society are becoming increasingly adapted upgraded adaptively but if you are thinking in terms of climate change or extreme inequalities of capitalism you can critic all these aspects how how can you assume that the society on the whole is is going smoothly conflict free and uh, adapting achieving goals so parsons assumed uh, all fine things in his analysis you can discuss evils of capitalism evils of uh, Uh, climate change and uh, conflict caste conflict ethnic conflict and how conflict is not being resolved majoritarianism okay so one can discuss many problems and then say the model doesn't explain okay but we will uh, do that criticism in the next class when we discuss martan and also Uh, things in general so we'll do martan mead and kuli um, on saturday martan mead and kuli